And you're in a room with like, you know, Markiplier, Jack Septic Eye, PewDiePie, uh, Lily Singh, uh, you know what I mean? Some fucking handsome young boys you've never seen before, but you just know have millions of subscribers, you know what I mean? Because mm. um, they're handsome, dude, and you can yeah. tell that they're charismatic. This is the era of cute crush, boys. I don't want to crush derail your story, but yeah, I, no, I, don't, don't then. Okay. Let's let's see where this goes. I'm very interested. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, you, you know, you got like it's like this YouTube gathering, and YouTube like gets like you know the whole hotel rented on. They have these cool things, and you know, ultimately, the real short end of it is it's like this is where ad buyers come into New York to go and buy ads, and like where are they going to spend their marketing budgets on the internet? And what they do is they bring all the YouTubers. We all go in a hotel day get us excited and we hang out and then on the last day we literally get pushed onto stage in costumes and they're like dance monkeys dance and we're literally there i'm there like holding like a big hamburger any fit channel is wearing like their lululemon stuff and doing stretches and stuff and we're doing all this stuff while like like uh like kevin hart has a microphone he's like i'm launching a youtube channel and we're all behind <laughs> him like yeah subscribe to him and then like it's it's like people that want to spend money in marketing will be like wow youtube has kevin hart and look at all those idiots back there they have hundreds of millions of subscribers Let, let's Who's put that our money into that hamburger? you know, <laughs> know. <laughs> um that being said that, one that of sounds uncomfortable was it uncomfortable if you once you like peel back the thin veneer of it all like when you're a youtuber you're like oh my god kevin hart's here let's take a picture with him and it's like yo bro kevin hart actually owes us one for this yeah. like if you really break it down what's going on here yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't. He, you're not just gonna get a picture. He owes. He like you can invoice him 10k almost, and YouTube will foot that bill. That would make sense. Yeah, and that's on the low end. You know, that's PewDiePie. what I was thinking. If I had, you know, if I had you and PewDiePie and like all these stars saying, "Go subscribe to him," that's a. Well, I actually yelled push. at them. I yelled at them about that, and I don't think that's why I'm allowed back. Really? Um, this was what'd when you, like uh, this was during the adpocalypse. Okay. And like I was in there, and I'm like, I'm Jewish. You're taking my money, and I'm Jewish. <laughs> no, no, they was, almost. Uh, I walked in, and and they had like, uh, and and to be fair, like they just did an awesome thing for us. They put us up in the hotel. Will Smith was there, the original point of this this mm -hmm. story, even. Um, and so they hook us up, and it's really cool. And I wish, like, you know, there was more time to sit down with like the heads of YouTube throughout the year, but there isn't. So you only get 15 minutes and I don't really want to be like, whoa, I met Will Smith. That's really awesome. Thank you. I want to stay focused. And I'm like, why would you turn off ads during the adpocalypse? Why was that even a thing? Why are you showing weakness? You fools. And they're literally like, well, <laughs> because we, the, the whole thing, all the news outlets were blah, blah. And I was like, there's a guy in this room that literally like, single-handedly destroyed a 100 year old news company like like uh it, it, who cares if the news or whatever and there and he literally said this i remember the the man he was like if you put and i know his name everything i just didn't want to say he was like if you put yourselves in our shoes we were thinking of you know that that uh coo at at pepsi and what he'll have to and i like interrupted which is probably rude i was like i don't care about this guy at pepsi I don't care. And this is like hot off the heels where Pepsi had that stupid commercial, the With, Kendall Jenner one. I was right. like, they're fucking up their own shit already. So you're going to like, we're going to turn off ads on YouTube because like people got mad. I'm like, dude, I'm like, take a look around you. This is like, it's like an influence war essentially. And you have infinite bullets in this room just in this room. Mm -hmm. And there's so many other creators. Like you don't have like, bro, Pepsi will come back. Anyone who, who like, just to think that they wouldn't come back, I'm like, but the, my issue and the reason why I brought up is I was like, why would you go and turn ads off on, on everyone's channels without telling anyone? They're like, we had a blog post. I'm like, yeah, you had a blog post. So if you have 75 subscribers or you have 75 million subscribers, here's the same 800 word blog post that'll kind of maybe explain, you know? And, and, and ultimately I was like, if you're gonna turn ads off, would have been great if I got an email. Let's say I spent 15K on this awesome video. It's going to be mm. so special. This is my entire life, my career yeah. built on YouTube, you know, like built on YouTube, like by YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Absolutely. I love YouTube ultimately. But at this point in time, I had to be like, you turn ads off and it's like, 
you just lose that video. There's no ads, but YouTube knew it was going to do that, which in itself, I was mad that they even did that. But like, why, why didn't you notify anyone? Literally send out an email. Hey, we might turn off ads in the next three days because we're shook. We're it stirred. really came down to them just choosing like establishment media presences like CNN, Fox, all that. Because those never got demonetized. Those have had ads forever in their YouTube clips. Like taking those side instead of people like you and PewDiePie and all them. Which seems yeah, like a bad YouTube, move in the long YouTube run. has always been star fuckers. Since I've been here since 2010, that's all YouTube's always been is a star fucker. Like I remember when they gave these channels like the first youtube originals they gave all these channels tons of money and like all these channels i remember like i got paid by like simon cowell to go to london england to help launch simon cowell's channel and i know that like tony hawk had a channel and shaq got a channel and there you youtube's like here's a million dollars and here's a million dollars and here's a million dollars and i remember like that you know from what i heard philip defranco had rallied really hard to be part of that because he had an idea and he, he got like half a budget or a quarter of a budget that like a Simon Cowell would get. All those channels are dead, except Phil's channel was source fed. That channel did not die then. That ended up being a successful thing. And it's like, whoa, big surprise. Your own talent are the people that you should have been cultivating. You're trying to get Shaq on YouTube vlogging, but people want to see Shane Dawson kiss a boy on the lips. Sorry to say. Shaq that's is what, busy that's with Gold it. Bond. Shaq is busy with Icy Hot. Name me one consumer product that Shaq doesn't endorse. You can't. <laughs> you it's about can't. time he starts kissing boys, man. Like people Shaq, need to man. up We've their waiting for understanding of how big YouTube. a YouTube star is. YouTube stars are wet. Now, I'm not talking about me, some Z-list ex YouTuber, but like the the guys who are Marcus Brownlee is a way bigger star than Andrew Ooh. Garfield. I don't know who that is. Marcus Brownlee, <laughs> he's the tech guy. Yeah, I'm getting around. I actually do know. What's the next thing? that's going to get blown out of the water is like super fucking bad for you. Do you think like something that right now we don't think is that bad? I like we, I was going to say SSRIs, but it's already understood enough that SSRIs media fuck with you really bad social media for sure. Porn consumption. We already know that's terrible. You for see, you. The ones I'm thinking no, of are also do already know. Porn is bad for us. Where do we know that from? I mean, like there aren't a ton of studies that like go into porn, but it does like skew people's perception of reality. When it comes to sex, people have like, uh, like, and I was like, I always look for reddits to make fun of and I'll have people link me things. And one of them is called no fap, which means Ooh. like no masturbating. And I went into reading it like, uh, I'm going to make fun of these guys. This is going to be funny. Who, and Chinese the more, people again? No, no. we're taking People that, that don't masturbate every time. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a reddit called, called no fap. And I was, I was like going through there, like looking for funny stuff to make fun of. And then like reading some other things, I was like, shit, these guys have like real deal addictions to pornography in like that they're looking at multiple, multiple times a day. They have like ED, they can't get hard for real women. They have no confidence. They have no sociability, no ability to differentiate what they see on the screen versus what reality is. And it's like, yeah, but this is, shit, this is like pornography really is. Hold on. It's not Hold a good thing. Hold on with that fucking conclusion. Can I jump in you're, before you're telling me an extreme please? of something? I, I, here's my take on it. And since Filthy's a pornography expert, he'll tell me if I'm right or wrong. I think Kinda that watching too. a lot of pornography doesn't ruin or skew your perception of what sex is. It just raises the bar. It's bad sex women that want you to think that these acts are not normal part of everyday sex. You know, like, lame women don't enjoy pegging and anal and choking and choking out and things but good women understand that's what's cool filthy am i right no <laughs> <laughs> that was the best deal ever good girls want to get choked and slapped and spit in their mouth lame girls don't want to put on a toy and fuck me in the ass would you agree with this you agree right <laughs> No, I, agree because, I, I agree because that's pretty funny. It's <laughs> very funny. <laughs> lame like, girls don't want to peg me. They're lame. Good girls want to spit in their mouth. I know, I know, I know. I know right, Filthy? Like, ready, to, ready to go off. Anyway. Go on, yeah, I'm about to bust, so let's get this out. <laughs> so. Busts, man, all over the that. that yeah, like green screen. it's perfect. No, um, 
Oh, little no. Uh, so no, just the point being that like, what you're talking about though is you're talking about the extremity of something, right? You're not talking about the habit itself. What you just described is someone who is addicted to something, right? And the, addicted in literally the definitional defense of that, the um, definitional element of that, which is it impacts the rest of their life negatively. If yeah. you start from that position, everything's bad. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be drinking water. It can be rock climbing. It can be working out. It can be fasting. It doesn't matter. If you go to the extreme of you start with the definition of this is negatively impactful, then it doesn't matter what that extreme is. So what you're talking about, you're like, okay, you went to this group, this fapping group, and these are the people with these really serious porn problems. It has nothing to do with pornography. It has everything to do with the addictive personality of that, right? It has everything to do with that being them unable to regulate. So I don't know. Like, how does that, how does that, as an attack on pornography, that seems like a very weak attack on pornography. Uh, I wasn't really making an attack on porn. I was just saying, like, like it does seem like it has negative effects on young men in that they have what other generations didn't have. In, in previous generations, if you wanted to get laid, if you wanted to get the satisfaction of seeing a naked body and coming, you had to work out. You had to have a nice job. You had to be stable. You had to get a woman, or you had to go into hookup culture and stuff, which wasn't nearly as loose or and whatever Or you just went to the now. cigar store and bought Whereas porn now, mags, hypothetically. it seems like... There is like like the whole incel <laughs> phenomenon we see now. I could see that as being kind of caused a little bit by porn, as people getting in their head an unrealistic expectation for what relationships are, and then they get into a feedback loop of why would I bother improving myself to get a woman when I could just do this? And, oh, I feel bad and guilty about that. But to your point, they feel bad and guilty about that, I would think, because unlike normal people, they're allowing it to become a maladaptive thing where their whole life is now ruled by masturbation and they can't. Yeah. But that, that's the, the extremity of that is the problem. Yeah. But also the readily available nature of it leads to that, you know? Nah, but I don't like that. I don't like being like, Oh, if we have it available, then uh, it's going to make us what about do bad alcohol, things. Then? What about pot? See, what about yeah, Cause says... I, I'd rather, I'd rather we have all the porn here. Yep. All the pot here, all the alcohol, yep. and yep. if you're going to drink and jerk yourself to death, that is the choice a that choice you I want to, to make. Maybe potentially not made, or maybe we enabled, but survival. Boys, I spent is, 20 minutes on the you. anti-masturbation <laughs> forum today. I don't know what I'm talking about. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor <laughs> says it creates so an unrealistic expectation of a. Because I'm also in favor weird. of guns. I'm also in favor of guns, and you can make that same argument against firearms sure. if you wanted to. You know. Taylor's but claiming I'm, it's I'm, a, I'm actually I'm 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 okay with I'm, is this I'm okay a coordinated with coordinated effort where every time I say anything <laughs> yes, we, yes. We, <laughs> it was it was that was Chiz told me coming on to that, that, that coming on to this episode that our whole goal was to stop what he's saying oh I work. thought that was the weekly bit no. yeah, every week. <laughs> each and every week no go for it Woody no <laughs> the timing is lost but carry on <laughs> I hate that when you got like a super funny joke and then everything moves past, you're like, damn it. Well, I guess that one's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, I don't know. The no, and that is something like that I saw from that no fap thing is like lots of dudes. These are clearly people with pornography addictions. And they talk about like the funny part of it that I got was guys being like, I'm, I'm 20 days free of jerking off in pornography and my head's clear. I feel stronger. I feel faster. I feel wiser. I feel like I could take on the world. And it's like, all right, well, you know, sell down, Spartacus. Like it's, 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 it's <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 but I if believe... it makes you feel that way, then good for you. But I, be I believe I, that a little bit. Like I remember when we played, we played football back in the day, like the day before game day, no jerking off. You don't want to jerk off. And even Dave Chappelle has a bit about that. He's like, you ever see a man? That comes on his own belly. Yeah. That's the least threatening creature in all of existence, and it's so true. Like you know, but yeah. like I and I always understood it as simple. Like even when I was like like fifteen, we were like our coaches would be like it's game day tomorrow, so no hand jobs from your girlfriends, no jerking off, none of that. And I'd be like, that makes sense. They were I'm very like, hands on. I'll be out there. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking get this nut. <laughs> wait, wait. Get this nut. Your coach but if, told like, you not to get a hand gives me job? a blowjob, I'll come out on the field and I'll be like, yo, win or lose, I'll get my dick sucked. Harley, circle back here. Did your coach really give you sexual advice at 15 years old? Yeah, he'd be like, uh, boys, we win this game and I will finish each and every one of you <laughs> in the showers. He's like, boy, take this blue chew. Maybe in the shower. 
Yeah. No, he uh, he literally was like, and every coach, it's multiple coaches would be like, game day tomorrow, no jerking off, no hand jobs, no blow jobs. That's it, and True. it made sense in my brain. I and never like had a coach when, when I'm that. when I'm going to the gym, when I'm like into working out, I'm like I want to jerk off and I want to work out, but I'm gonna work out and the, then the ordering jerk off. matters. Yeah, yeah, the order matters. For yeah. Sure. Ooh. So driving up and down from, so I just came back from Milwaukee the other day, right? Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. And on the way back, there's a series of, um, oh my God, what the fuck? What am I looking for? The large, I can't think of the word. Jews. A no. park. A, a, so there, God yeah, let's do this play this music. game. Advertisements on large signs in the second billboard. Of billboard. Thank you. Billboard. Could not think of the word. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't even series. think of billboard. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There's always, anyway. So a series <laughs> of billboards. Retired. And one of them says, pornography leads to human sex trafficking. That's one of the fucking billboards that I drive by on a regular no, basis. No, human sex trafficking leads to some kinds of pornography. Well, <laughs> that is a terrible sentence. Yeah, the second, the second take billboard it, behind take it, it is, back. causation is often confused with correlation. Is it the but egg it, or the it, platypus? What came first? Yeah, but it just it just like this strikes me like that, right? Like, I don't know. Like, this feels like bullshit to me. Yeah, okay, maybe. Human sex drive certainly something that's power. I, I find that it's a personally, subjectively, serious drive, right? Like, if I, I'm, I'm aware, if I haven't come in a while, that's that's an impact. I have a... I have a change in perception related to that. More interested in women as a whole, more interested looking at women, for example, et cetera, right? You put so up I can buy stupid it. ass stories. <laughs> not, Taylor, you're not a woman. Stop talking. <laughs> so, so, but the point being that I can buy that there is some, ele- there's some elevate, there's some drive, a human drive related to sexuality. But I have a really hard time buying that the inherent, that consumption of human sexuality is in some way related to negativity above and beyond, uh, above and beyond maybe the idea that this is normal human sexuality or above and beyond the idea that this is perhaps addictive personality. Or something like that. I, I, I hear just, where you're coming from. I'm not really hard pressed either way. I, I would like to like just continue in that. Do you think that there is no impact on human sexuality or human sexual thought when someone is watching porn versus not watching porn? So someone who doesn't well, watch porn at all versus someone who watches every day, do you think there's no difference in their conception and, and ide- idealization of of human sexuality no absolutely not of course not because there's gonna be things like normalization like what what people see as like this is normal behavior like, like there's gonna be just like exposure to stuff it depends i guess it depends on the porn watching you, porn if, inspires excellence in sexual relationships that's what you're saying could be like i think that's not i don't think that's a a depends on the type of porn right you know if this is oh, like we've listed the, the kinds already yeah, no 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 like, yeah. I, I, I like filthy for a actual moment. answer there i like that like, it does depend on the kind yeah okay all right, that's all. Nuance on that. So, yeah, uh, that's all. Yeah, Man, I wish funny. I knew more so I could get like passionate about that. But I, I just like don't that care. Taylor became the. Well, we could talk about the Silmarillion again if you want, Taylor. Oh, <laughs> uh, without getting interrupted, as I'm trying to talk about the the Valar and all that. Do you guys remember being like 12, 13, 14 when everybody was into skateboarding and there was always that kid who was slightly better than average and he'd be like, "Yeah, I'm trying to get sponsored." Yeah. I'm trying to get sponsored by uh Yeah, I went to bed every company. single night, every single night going to bed being like, I wish I could get <laughs> sponsored. Like Chaz <laughs> is definitely going to get sponsored. You, you guys want to know he something? He kick flipped eight steps. When I was a kid, <laughs> I was a little better than average surfer and I had a wetsuit sponsor, a surfboard sponsor, shoes, suntan lotion, uh I had like six sponsors. Uh, the clo- fuck happened to you? Woody? Clothing and yeah, now, now <laughs> what I'm the fuck happened to you though? <laughs> I would not have made it as a pro. Like the best in Ocean City, New. I wasn't even the best in Ocean City, New Jersey, but among the best in Ocean City, New Jersey, doesn't get you much on the world stage. Everything about you now actually is very surfer vibes. Like now your hair is just <laughs> that swoop, just looks surfer. Even like your your shirt. Is just like it's like I'm it's a dad, not. but I used to surf the shirts <laughs> cotton. It's very relaxing and breezy. <laughs> and trust me, I could whip this off in a second and be hitting the wake, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Last look at the, I... the, the sun kissed skin. You're right. Totally yeah, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, look my... at how pale the three of us are. Look how person. gray my beard is. Like, oh my god. I I I um I, really, it is my my facial hair is always at its longest on this show. Come tomorrow morning, I'll shave, and uh, I don't. I, I guess I maybe went an extra day or two. I'm shocked by how old I've become. <laughs> but See, right Jack, you're an old. You, you're like 15 years too old to be doing YouTube. 
<laughs> I, I know this because I'm eight years old, too old to be doing YouTube. <laughs> it's like even just doing YouTube, there's an element of it like where it's like I feel like I'm like hanging out at like the high school like graduated from like outside and classes out and I'm like, what's up? Mrs. D still fucking teaching shit gym dude or what's going on anyway in there? you need someone to I buy you to. beer i'm lonely <laughs> you know? yeah. circling I, I back to. harley let me have the floor for a moment you were you were at that event and you said there like there were these good looking teenage boys that you just knew were super ah, popular you're putting words in my mouth but kind of basically yeah. I, uh, I believe That's what I said. you said sexy Mwah. teenage boys and i just down yeah yeah so, charismatic that doesn't yeah, matter. yeah, definitely. No, nah, I, I think say, it was yeah. sexy. Yeah, it was definitely. Okay. So anyway, I'm at this thing. It's a New York Digitor event or something, and I'm in the. I'm also there. Sorry, is this for surfing or related to YouTube? No, it's related to YouTube. And yeah, surf um, channel, start surf channel tomorrow. Do it. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> right. Go <laughs> mediocre. What are you, the unexceptional surfer? And uh, we only raised nine thousand eight hundred dollars, <laughs> so I'm starting a surf channel with this <laughs> yes. money. So I, step one, my <laughs> vacation to the Dominican Republic. Anyway. Um, at backstage, I don't know who any of these people are, but they're all like Justin Bieber, it would seem. They're 17 years old. Everything, every hair is in place. Their outfits are impossibly cool, and I'm dressed like I'm about to mow the lawn. And I very much felt out of place and that I didn't belong there. You were. Yeah. You were out of place. Dude, like, <laughs> at the backstage, there was like a hallway connecting the various green rooms. And these kids are goofing around and they're putting like, you know, you put your feet on the wall and your butt on the wall and you can kind of climb up it. And I'm like, I want to do that, but they won't like it because I'm old and I don't fit in. I, if, I, if I had a teenage boy costume, wait, I'm totally you? immature enough. Well, if you have a teen right. teenage boy costume, we know it's a costume. And it looks way worse. <laughs> so, what, you were surrounded by like a group of like teenage boys yeah, and you wanted to fit in with them as opposed to them wanting. So that was like your worry? It was like, dude, I'm the one out of place here? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I want to be I a child out of place. Because there's like, I don't know, 17 of them and one of me. And everyone else was just like making friends and getting along and climbing on the walls and singing. And I'm like this totally uncool older gamer dude. You're like, ah, ch children, hey, I... I made a couple of you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys don't want it though, but okay. No, I know, I know exactly what you mean. I, I, I fully understand it. And like, you're like, they're there on like, it's like the new generation and they're climbing on the walls and they're like, literally fuck off dad. We're doing cocaine and popping zannies and listening to the newest SoundCloud <laughs> rapper. Ass. Get V bucks Fortnite, bitch. And you're like, I want to be you. <laughs> no. I want to be you. Or maybe I'd kick your ass <laughs> at Fortnite. Although I would, but hypothetically, maybe. <sighs> but yeah. That's when you pop one of those blue pills, huh? Then we show them who's boss, right? You think your 17 inch cock is impressive? Look at this. Look at my boner, oh, kids. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, copper. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> kids, gather around. I'm an adult. You have to listen to me. <laughs> Uh, you guys all take a knee. I can't because of this tremendous and impressive boner. You see before, <laughs> thanks to you thanks see to before Lucy. you. <laughs> Behold, Behold. That'd be, a, that'd be a that's, officer poking that thing into them. You're gonna go to jail for that. That's assault. Yeah, you definitely go to jail for that. Assaulting an officer, yeah, dude, that would be hilarious. If someone got assaulting an officer for slapping. Slapping a cop with their hard. Oh head. yeah, you you gotta send you gotta you gotta send your bail money to, to Blue Chew. That would like, be the you got coolest, me in this mess. The coolest get me out. guy in prison, the guy that got sentenced an extra eight years because it was first degree assault because he had a huge hard cock, and they had to make a case in front of a jury that this thing yeah, could have done they damage. Say? They'd be like, you don't just get an erection with this. You have to be aroused. You have to want to get an erection with this. That's now, what this decision. man yeah, was not it. only hard, he clearly wanted to fuck the officer <laughs> Jennings. <laughs> now, bring up a picture of Mr. Jennings' prolapsed asshole following this song. <laughs> Look at that, just spilling out of there like a half uh, kept on can of beans. Just terrible. <laughs> To yeah, register you your that. super hard cock as a deadly weapon. I like this idea. Oh, oh <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, you can register your dick. It's important to say super because it's like, hey, yeah, hard dick. Yeah, we all got hard dick. Super hard dick. I need the pills. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, I'll be honest, just go vegan for two months. You'll wake up super hard dick. 
I mean, well, don't, doesn't, everybody wake up this topic. doesn't everybody wake up with a hard dick every day? No, no, but I swear when I wasn't eating meat, it was super hard dick. So like, like he's waking you up. Like you're opening your eyes. He's like, yo, wake up. Wake up, bitch. You're like, oh, you're here. You're like, bro, I've been here for an hour. I'm vegan. I'm awake. Let's fucking blow this load, bro. We can do back to back before breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. I love Soy that. bacon. <laughs> How long did yeah. you have to go vegan before you're like, man, I'm getting some great dick results? I did. It was like four minutes. I was like, I literally just stopped for like a day. And I was like, hello, you have a, I When did my dick get here? I'm not party? sure about the cause and effect on that then. Like, no, no, it was. It, I was just joking around. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that. I was also going from like an intense like keto diet. So I was eating tons of meat and then I went to vegan. So like maybe that has a factor. Who knows? Could just be changing. It could be a billion different, a, a billion different things. But I ended up doing that for like two months. And then um, I was like, that was cool. That was nice. You know, like I feel like I, I want like I'm not vegan by any choice other than I just did this. So let's go get fucking steak. And like I said, I'm like, and I, I had a steak and I was like, oh, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. This is the best thing. This is the best. If you believe in God, then why the fuck did he make it so tasty? We have to kill all these motherfuckers and we got to get them on the grill right now. Right now, let's get it. And I'm like, I'm back. I'm like, I'm back. And I'm like, and I'm never going to be gone again. I'm like, that was cool. That was an experience. I feel like I deserved to have that experience. I earned it. But now that I had this steak, this one bite, I will fucking hunt for my own food before I let the Meat's meat get just taken better. away. It's just yeah. way better. Like, have you seen just... all these these news stories now from like mainstream outlets, like all seemingly like in the last year or two, posting shit like in the future you are gonna have to eat maggot burgers and cricket fries and things like that. That was a and typo like... though. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Just keep really, going. it's at Mark Go burgers. Um, no. I, let's just keep going. Keep I going. Said. Maggot burgers. You know, like how someone would yell at someone they don't like. You maggot. Oh. <laughs> you Thank dirty you, maggot. Get out of my town. I was literally gonna like put it on notepad, and while you guys discussed it, just swap out letters as right, I tried to too, figure it out. Too, too no, far with it. The, but the bug shit. What the fuck is up with that? It's not organic. Nobody wants to eat bugs unless you're Chinese. And I base that entirely on documentaries I've seen where they eat scorpions off of sticks and they seem to be like stoked on it. But here, crickets, scorpions, Chinese people, worms, Chinese people are eating that. bugs? Oh, yeah. Look up. Then uh, we got to start eating bugs, bro. Yeah, no, dude, they're beating the us economically, Taylor. Let us, let us, they, know, the they know, they know, they know better than we do. <sighs> no, nah, but we're taller and bigger. They're, they're little. That's they're true. Fucking That's bugs. true. They own That's our true, debt. But there's some big it ones out there. It might be the scorpions. I, I think it's worth a try. <laughs> and what does it do for try. your dick bugs? I mean, this is really the question. Can you, you use an exoskeleton? If you eat some <laughs> you got an exoskeleton on that bad boy. You ever it's seen a, the fucking a condom? Just it doesn't grows. go flaccid anymore. It curls up with a shell like a roly poly. Yeah, like into your body. Almost. You get the erectoskeleton. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, That's so like, dumb. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. It's well, bad. I like dumb shit. So oh, wait, hold <laughs> on. So uh, Woody, like, if like, let's say you'd say something, and you'd be like, "Oh, the black, the blacks," or something you would say, and then someone's like, "Woody, that's racist." <laughs> You would be like, no, my dog's black? Yeah, that's right. what he said. He said it just a minute ago. Which would yeah. prove I'm not racist. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's racist, by what? the way. No, it's not. No, I, I, no. I, 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 yo, I, 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 no, no. You know what's best. racist? You have a I'm white fluffy dog, right? Don't you have a white fluffy dog? Sure, for that's, your point. Yeah, that's we, racist yeah. as fuck, the fact that you only buy white dogs. No, it's not. His name's his his name's Lil Hitty. I never ever <laughs> once ever considered the color of my dog when I looked at him. I never saw color. <laughs> I don't even see breed. Yet somehow you ended up I with see, that. All I see is four legs. I don't even see with a heart. A That's hole, it. Right in nah. the center. I never once even saw that. You think I would ever call my dog a Yorkie? No, I wouldn't put him in a box like that. He might identify as something else. It's not. It's not my place True to decide. Never no, but I am actually. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I believe that people could. I believe people can make racist jokes and whatever, and not be racist, whatever, or have like, like even like a mentality that. Yeah, Woody's racist for sure. Uh, 
He did. He told me in college he hates black people because there were so many of them. And he, that's true. He I like, was there. Yeah, yeah. Taylor was four. <laughs> they, yeah, and they were at the arcade, and they didn't. He didn't like that they didn't say hi to him when he came. So he's like, I hate black people. Harley yeah. was there. <laughs> no, I am joking a little bit, but truth be told, like I think what I'm good at is being like, that's a racist thing. Oh, that's not a racist thing. You're I think I'm very good at that. That's yeah. your God-given skill, identifying... Oh, it's not the God-given skill. Judging other I, people? I, I picked this one up. No, no, not judging. Because oh, that's the I thing. Think it's judging I like, a little. No, well, a little bit, but let me explain. I could, be like, <laughs> I could be like, that, what you just said, is racist. I would never in this day and age say that it makes you racist or you a person. I wouldn't <laughs> say that about you or anyone. I could just be like, the thing that is being said right now that's murder. is that a racist thing. A yeah, yeah, that's true. So Harley's, it, possibly. Harley's yeah. hidden superpower. As long as it's funny. Harley's hidden superpower is identifying me, what's racist and what's not. My hidden for me, superpower, that's important. I can identify when a woman is pre-fat, right? She might not be fat right now. But her body type is going to trend that way. That's my superpower. That's sexist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at her. You, you've no, got variety I, to your skill set. No, but I, I actually you like that. I actually than like just that race. ability. He's developing. He's already said he's moving on. Past I like. I like that ability. Getting... Why don't you make? Why don't you actually like that ability? It's really hilarious. Why don't you make some <laughs> calls right now? Really? Like, why don't we go? Let's take some, I take some be YouTubers. Like a, a, take some YouTubers that exist right now. I could be a I and let's, back, let's get it on fucking tape, bro. Yeah, I, I, let's I, let's, yeah, let's get let's it on tape. And in 10 years, in 10 years, yeah. if any of them are wrong, Wings is coming back on the show. <laughs> and that's official. <laughs> right? Dude, and afterward, they pay let's, play, let's play my superhero game. I can tell you just by looking, just by looking, whether or not someone has Down syndrome. <laughs> That you can't actually can only always go do well. that. Yeah, I can tell. No, there's but mosaic the Down syndrome. Power. There are people who have not not to me. I'm like fucking, <laughs> uh, I'm like that guy in the basement solving math problems. That's a chromy <laughs> homie. <laughs> an extra chromy homie. Yeah, an extra chromy homie. Yeah, let's let's take some uh, some photos. Well, I guess for Harley's bit, we have to wait a decade. To, <laughs> yeah. To, yeah. To, so <laughs> well, let's get it. Commit. Let's get it on paper right now. Right. Thanks them out. Let's go. I feel like I video. should be. We don't need a paper. We got a video. I should it's offer yeah. this this superpower to singles for a fee. To Lele, Lele so Pons. They know whether her. to she... swipe left or is, right. Is Lele Pons pre fat? I don't know this person. We need links. Well, you got to fucking type her name in, bro. Lele Here, you, Pons. You guys, and I'm you, sorry. I just want to be <laughs> paying my mortgage off level of rich. Like, no, that's yeah, so just like, fun. you know, like very successful dentist. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, make a that, money. Nice. that good nice. dentist money. Yep. Do you, do you know dentists kill themselves more than any other occupation? Yep. I, I read once. I yeah, well, that. we want their money, but we don't want to kill ourselves. You know, I think probably it's because of the bad vibes that they're getting served up every day. Halitosis, I think. Halitosis. Yeah, it's the halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> it. I feel like oh. that's a big deal. It is. I'd be like, every, I'd be like, why am I? This is a shit job. Like, like why did I choose this shit job? Themselves? Like employees at Build a Bear aren't killing themselves because they're Can around I, stoked kids all the time. Dentists. Where get that uh, from? I want like the breakdown. Give me the top ten professions I mean, that kill themselves like the most. Where is that? Chance I made this up. Okay. All right. Let me see. Which? Why do dentists kill themselves? <laughs> yeah, I heard that about dentists. Google all the time. auto completed it when I'm searching it now. <laughs> Don't choose the Vice article because yeah, I already but that's machine that learning. I all right, the say. 19 jobs. That's that game machine is going to get you. To kill Your phone yourself. will tell you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, you son of a bitch, business insider. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not blocking my ads for you. Fuck you. <laughs> or unblocking my ads. I'll go to I'll go to a less reputable source. <laughs> less reputable than business insider. <laughs> even even less reputable. I'll go you're to be, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> you're gonna be at a YouTuber's channel. Yeah. You'll come back to me in a minute. Hey guys, <laughs> cool Steve here. Thanks so much for watching. Real quick before we get into it, sorry about my content recently. Big plans on the horizon to do this and that. <laughs> and also, another thing to look out for, we're doing a wacky watch-along series over on Twitter. It's kill yourself. Kill yourself. Yeah, I was getting triggered. Jump off a bridge. <laughs> Dentists yeah. are killing up, themselves because I watched this video. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm back with another What's video. Up, 
I've got 45 <laughs> seconds of content, but I got to get it to 10 minutes. So I'm going to just mealy mouth my way around. Talk about, oh, is my cat jumping up on my desk? <laughs> wow. Oh, let's talk about this. For three Kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Auto play videos. Nice. That's YouTube. Mm. That is YouTube. <sighs> yeah. They pay you a lot less for and that. Believe now, it or not, right? this Reddit, YouTube's Reddit are always, out. YouTubers are always, they're always, they're always saying what's up. They're always this... back with another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back with another video. I know you're back with another video. <laughs> Dude, imagine if people at like real jobs are like, and I'm back to drive the forklift again. Today. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up, Ted, and get to work. You're 40 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to learn how to like screw in a light bulb, and they go into their whole history of how they got motivated to make videos about light bulbs. Like, no, hey bitch. Guys, Michael, Vsauce here, teaching you how to screw in a light bulb. But first, what is a light bulb, and who invented it? You know, and <laughs> oh. here. Uh, but actually, yeah, that's not fair because that guy has some cool videos. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. Video. The suicide yeah. rate of dentists is twice of the general population and three times other white collar workers. Damn. Mm. What's up next? Number two. Uh, it these. This is all. This is oilhealthgroup.com. So it's all about dentistry and stress that kills you. Do you think it's because I was going to say, do you think it's because they have access to that really fun gas that they give you? But then that wouldn't make sense because like regular doctors have access to more fun drugs than that. And they're not killing themselves as much. It really does have to be some kind of like bad vibe thing where everybody coming in has a pissy attitude and doesn't want to be there because they're at the dentist. And that must wear on your spirit after a while, you know, it like mentions... just constant negativity. So here, here are some time pressures. Uh, compromised treatment frustration, patient anxiety, which I think is what you're tapping into, dentist personality, which I know, compulsive attention to detail, extreme conscientiousness, careful control of emotions, unrealistic expectations, lack careful of careful control of emotions. It says it what right are they? Here. Why are they regulating? What What do dentists need with emotional regulation? Maybe what are the ups and downs that they're suppressing? This goddamn root canal just isn't working. I, I don't <laughs> know. I. Uh, a market dependence on individual performance and prestige. Uh, the emotion thing, I'm just guessing because it's customer facing. Yeah. But, you know, that's me guessing. I don't, I really don't. Be, but I mean, going to the dentist does suck. And yes, I works. guarantee I'm not I putting that out Jew. positive vibes. <laughs> Who? What, what Jew? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Good luck. Keep talking about the Jewish dentist, though. Remember <laughs> everyone listening at home, he's a Jew, this dentist. My, he's, Very high chance he's, he's Jewish. Really not. My is, is that a high he's chance dead. Jewish job? Is he still Jewish after he's dead? I know, like, Hollywood and stuff is, but dentists? I don't know about that. I'm Doctors sold, in general. He might be Indian. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> yeah, doctor, you know. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Srinivas. Srinivadapar. <laughs> why, why are your teeth so dirty? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, the, that sucks. I mean... But dentists do make good money, and it seems way easier to be a dentist than it does to be like a surgeon or like a regular doctor. Or maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Of... I don't know. Do we have any dentists out there listening? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We got any felons in the house? <laughs> Harley, as an adult, yeah. what's one thing you should have mastered by now but haven't? Uh, who, me? Yeah. I can give you a list of things. <laughs> sure. Um, Under 10. How to cook a chicken. Wait, really? I wouldn't yeah. have expected that to be on your Don't list. You, That's right. you run a YouTube video, a YouTube channel on cooking for 10 years? That's right. Not a lot I of did. chicken in that channel, though. It is. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. No, I did. Okay. I don't know how to cook. Okay. You know, you can, number like, one. you can yeah. Google how to cook a chicken. Uh, yeah, you can, but that's not... That's not what the game we're playing right now, is it, though, Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> we're playing a game, aren't we? Filthy, Fair what's enough. something you should have game? mastered as an adult? Oh, uh, changing a tire. Real? I can do that one. You I don't know how to change a tire? tire? No, I can't change the well, tire. I can change the wheel. Changing the tire itself sounds really hard. But yeah, all of that, everything you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> I can't change the oil on my engine. I can do that. Although, Listen. fuck changing a tire. I, like, my, wife, my wife called me. This was uh, middle of the winter during this fucking ridiculous polar vortex winter like bullshit that happened. I'm in middle of Wisconsin. Like, like, I'm, like, I, it's north up here, right? My wife yeah. calls me. I'm hungover as fuck. Literally, a friend crashed at my place because we were so drunk the night before. Calls me. She's like, I have a flat. 
Uh, I've called AAA, and I, but I'm just down the road. I'm like, all right, so I get up, go, go out there. And, you know, it's fucking frigid out there. And I'm like, I start like working on it. It's just, she's driving my car. So it's like a car I'm familiar with. We've got a spare in the back. So I'm like taking the tire off. I snap the fucking metal. I bend it. That's how cold it is. It was, wow. I, I, don't, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was related oh, it wasn't to cold. Or not. I okay. assume it was, it was very cold. I probably was related to that, but I'm fucking taking off the lug nuts of the tire and I bend the fucking uh, iron doing that. And I'm like, all right, well, and then the AAA guy shows up and does it in like two seconds. And I feel like a total fucking douchebag for being tool. unable to do this myself. Yeah, he had a much better tool. Yeah. But I still felt like, That's you know, I woke fault. up. It felt like such a, oh, I felt like such a fucking piece Dude, of nothing shit makes you I, feel like a fucking. That's funny that you felt like a piece of shit. Because if I got that call, I'd be like. <laughs> that sounds like a you I'm problem, like, we, not a me problem. <laughs> I was like, we have a service. <laughs> I pay money for this shit. But my calling wife, me? the woman I love is like wow wife stranded. what a show off this guy <laughs> <laughs> I get it you got a wife I get it you're bending them iron with your bare hands <laughs> very strong and uh, as a woman that loves him and he has his own car not to be mistaken with the other car they have guys you gotta read between the lines here he's like I got multiple cars I got a wife and I fucking bend iron then I went with my home, bare I hands Carly's chicken. winning me over she felt much better <laughs> exactly it was great but then she didn't live up to my porn expectations, so there's that. <laughs> well, I didn't live up to She's her porn lame. expectations, oh, and I felt so shitty. Have really you considered shitty. Bluetooth? Um, <laughs> oh, something. Taylor, that, uh, wait, I want to do oh, a roundtable on this. Do you have okay. a uh, an adult skill you haven't mastered yet that you should have? Um, I know how to how to be accepting of other people's cultures is a good one. <laughs> 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 how to be? Uh, how to be? How to be like chill with Chinese people? No. I don't. <laughs> by the way, I promise you, how to be chill with Chinese people? A book by Taylor. I guarantee that. Yeah. Hundred percent. It could just yeah, be, be empty chill. inside. <laughs> how to be chill with Chinese people? You don't want to approach them like this. They don't. Okay. Them. There we go. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to think of something. I really, I honestly like. It's probably tax related. Like. If I were to put the time in and figure out all the real shit you could do with deductions and all the little little strategies you could use, like I'd probably save more money. Mm -hmm. But the, like, the it seems so daunting and scary, and I'm so afraid of like the IRS and shit that I guarantee I'm a retard and I've overpaid in years past needlessly. Like that that's probably the adult thing that I need to get on top of is like knowing how to do my taxes in an actually efficient way. My father yeah, would hate this. You. But you know what mine is? Signing my own name. I can either write it really slowly and lame, or I just do this like bumpy little chicken That's scratch legal. thing. That's what I do. When yeah. I sign yeah. for something, I write Harley Morstein as fast as I can without taking my pen off the paper. Yeah. And I write like my full name. It's like 21 letters. <laughs> and I just write it across. It's like a mad scribble across the paper. And I'm just like, I feel like, you know, People who can judge handwriting will know this is mine. Oh, not me. Yeah. And I feel like it's not an easy signature to copy. Mine, it's, like it's, it's a, a little old, wavy thing, thing that is like the start of an M. And then I just kind of zoom off to the side with this straight line. So it's basically a messed up M followed you, by a line. Squiggle. Do you guys ever, uh, you know, when you go to the grocery store and they like want you to sign on the pad, mm -hmm. like the touchpad, do you guys ever draw uh, penises on there for fun? I know, but I'm going to now. That sounds it's, like a good idea. It's pretty I'm funny because you know that shows up on their screen, <laughs> and they have to hit accept. And you I do like little, I do like an alcohol whoop, delivery like a thing. W for the balls, and then just a quick little dick. I do a <laughs> quick little dick. That's my one time. I drew school. a tic tac toe board just to see if they cared, and they didn't. This is well, poorly, so when the they come when they come to your house, when they come to my house to like deliver booze, there's like this booze delivery app, and like when they give you, it's like an iPad, and you get like the whole You're the page. McDonald's. That's a McDonald's coffee, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you had a McDonald's coffee delivered and you get booze delivered to your house? Where I don't are you based out of? fucking leave this house, bro. Where are you it's based out of? Drizzle. Toronto, Canada. Yeah, see, this is, we need to get this technology. I don't want you to have a house for beers either. This is USA <laughs> shit, bro. This is us doing our best impression. I'm just more American than you motherfuckers. That may be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to derail. I just got excited when you said, like, booze. No! <laughs> Fuck no. it. Oh, take oh, it! Take the done. floor, Woody! Oh, I'll be no. right back, guys. Did you get interrupted, Harley? <laughs> you poor thing! 
<laughs> he no, he's, not, he's not as American as, as me. I'm much too xenophobic. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hold I don't know. I felt like like I didn't really answer your question, Woody, about the adult thing. Like I just feel like I feel like I never fucking really properly grew up. And maybe prop maybe part of this is because I'm I'm I, I stream for a living. I play video games for a living. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to like I, I I don't know. It just feels like at some point I think I again this is this is the, the same vein of realizing that I'm never gonna get to the point where I wanna work out. Right. And that how I do that is I decide ahead of time I wanna work out and cheat my way into it. I feel like that's life in some way, right? Like, you know, I, I'm never going to want to do the shit that I don't want to do. I don't want to go grocery shopping. I don't want to bring out the trash. I don't want to fucking wash the counters. I don't want to go to bed yeah. on time. You know, I want to stay up as late as I want to fucking like all this shit never gets better. And like part of it is like dealing with it. And that's that, that to me is such a revelation over time to like realize that, that this is, is a, your lifestyle uh, doesn't lend itself to much. Like, I was going to say too much discipline, but that's not right. Like traditional discipline is a better way. The fact that you're doing as well as you are, like a streaming schedule where you tell people when to expect you is pretty good. And and I say this from a Jesus, voice that's such of a experience. Low bar. It's not. Think like, of any uh, other profession where if you didn't show up on time, that would be complimentary. Really? Right. You'd just be I fired. The thing is, I lived your life when I was your age, right? As like a professional gaming entertainer. I'm looking for a term. Yeah, yeah I think that's accurate. And, uh, y you know, like, there's not much there that pin you to a normal sleep cycle. Most, uh, not most, but a lot of people who are gaming entertainers don't have a sleep schedule. They just they work their way around the clock. Every three weeks, they claim that they fixed their sleep schedule, when yeah. in reality, it just rotated to normal and it's on its way out in, in any moment. Um, Paging Kyle. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I gained weight um, when, I, when I had your job. And, uh, you know, like, it, I, I sat there, I, like, rationalized it. Well, you know, professionally, I'm doing well, fitness-wise. <laughs> worth it i think you know like that that was my thought process so uh anyway if you had a normal job that you had to show up for like at the office i think that would have an inherent kind of discipline that would make it easier to carry into other things i wish feedback i wish there's more feedback in the shop if i had to complain about one thing about my job and i like my job i'm pretty mm -hmm. happy with it but it's very difficult to get any sense of what of of what you do if it matters in a positive or negative way like if I snap at a viewer, is that a good or a bad thing? You know, like it, you it say, on here, funny it is. I agree, right? But how do you get any fucking indication of that? If I uh, decide I'm going to stream eight hours a day for six days a week or seven hours a day for five days a week or six hours a day for four days a week, how do I get any fucking sense of this? Like, I, the, the number I get is like concurrent viewers. I get like what my sponsors will pay me, I suppose. I get... You know, it's so fucking hard to get any sense of what, you know, I don't get quarterly reports of my, my job performance, right? It's so hard to get a sense of what is going right versus what's going wrong. And it's so hard to not fixate on stupid shit like, here's my average concurrence for the day. You know, on some level, everything I do is based on average concurrence. All of the income elements of my stream are based on average concurrence. Average concurrence, our subscriber count, our donation count, our uh, sponsor sponsorship elements, the, the amount they're going to pay you for that, our opportunities at a certain size, you start getting recruited to tournaments, you get recruited to events, et cetera, et cetera. But is that the only number that matters? It's like, I, it's so, I, I hate that element of it. I hate the uncertainty based on lack of feedback that I can trust or interact with. <laughs> what, you, you seriously don't want to show off the superpower now? Like this would be this would be the next like yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I, I, Come on yeah, Let's go through them. For the record, I'm fine telling these bitches they'll be fat. I'm of not course. gonna. I really am Never not. I'm not gonna sit would. here and be an asshole to people online. How is it an asshole? Move. Really saying this woman's body type is such that she's about to get well, fat? Would you want to hear that? that? Oh, those no, words. Your well, words are maybe, bad. Kind of like I don't like, like the words that you even use there. Like, you can say it better. When I go to the dermatologist, be like, the dermatologist with my me, mate, you're a redhead super. who's fucking pale as shit. You're going to get skin cancer. And I'm like, well, that's probably good. I hear this. You don't think it's similar? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. A little, like, a, a little bit. Good. No, it's like you could be like. Uh, you, Filthy, you let me ask like, you. Would you rather battle, you know, a mole that needs to be removed because it's sure. a potential skin cancer or 35 pounds? What do you mean battle? 
battle. You've, You've got a problem that you need to solve. Either a day trip to the dermatologist outpatient procedure sure. or 35 pounds easier. of fat. He's sure. saying he's saying being fat is worse than cancer. <laughs> That's his words is what he's yeah. trying to say. What am I, okay. Right? So how is that redeeming you? I missed it. No, it's you. It's not. He's yeah. a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you, saying it because in my eyes a woman gaining weight is the lowest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All people in existence. Yeah. <laughs> no, would you I mean, be, it's like would you be on, like, we, would we you talk, rather shake hands with a fat time, woman or a rapist? Every time I'm on PK, we talk about fitness. And when, okay. I, when I started streaming, yeah. when I left graduate school, started streaming, I put on fucking like 20 pounds probably oh, over the God. 100. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. You're in check. To put on fucking 20 pounds, right? So that, that happens in life. Why is this suddenly the end all be all? You have this talent. I want to see this talent in action. Let's go, Woody. How do, how do Jenna Marbles, how do you feel? How do we make it easier? <laughs> Less popular people? Like just random photos? Like what makes this easier? I want to see the talent. Not doing it in front of our audience. That's the oh. mean part. That's the no. Part. That's 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 the bane that you that's carry, the funny Woody. Part. That's it. Even no matter what, I'll tell you what your subreddit. They're already mad at you right now. For this. Oh, I know. <laughs> but so it's, it's too fault. late. They're already <laughs> mad. They're gonna be mad. And if you don't give them this shit, they're gonna find some other shit to be <laughs> yeah, mad about. You guys and are use dragging this you. out. Like you're to blame. <laughs> no, no, no. The no. subreddit. I already we hear that. Yes, are helping provide content. <laughs> I hear that them is right now. Crucifying Woody Dude, right the, now. The, really, the, the meaner, the meaner you are, the more the subreddit likes you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably true. That's the way to do it. But it's, it's not. Just, a, I I just feel like if I and, and actually when I looked at that list of women, they almost all look like they were yeah. pre fat. They were pretty Go. hot women in general. Oh, I thought you were going to go this for the is kill really shot. You're going to be like, yeah. they're all fat. No, no, Woody, <laughs> go on further. You'd fuck them all. You're saying. <laughs> would you fuck him with your blue chew dad dick hypothetical single woody would would uh, there's he gave a list of like 25 females. hypothetical single woody like 23 with his blue of chew boner is he busting loads in these like YouTubers 23 of them unless i'm desperate and then 25 you, would you come inside them uh how else would i lock them in you know baby trapping most that's what you're gonna do 23 that's out of the 25 part part i would 23 out of 25 i'm baby trapping them <laughs> the other okay. two are catch well, and release let's send the list. why don't you send the list out to your uh to your audience so they can guess which two are the <laughs> we should do that you know what if i don't want to subreddit get them <laughs> if i don't want to guys guess right if i don't want to coming back pick on these people for no reason <laughs> But I. Uh, so, is it really picking on? Oh, I know. Someone, I already know. Say, okay, if you say I already know what he is prefat. If someone's body type is prefat, you're saying you look at this person, you go, they're at a risk of obesity. Is that picking on someone? Yes. Really? Because I have genetics that leave me at risk for alcoholism, leave me at risk for skin cancer, leave me at risk for like receding hairline. Is it picking? Yeah, on shut me? up, white man. Out? You got it good. Okay, just shut your white <laughs> mouth. Okay. No one's gonna feel bad for you in 2019. Sure. You're good. This is the website. Oh, your red hair. Wow, you're super white. Yeah. Wow, we feel bad for you. So I'm kidding. No, I'm not. It's true. <laughs> but no one feels bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, I'm showing people the website that we're talking about. I think genetics always becomes a weird thing, right? But isn't we this what he's saying? He can, he, can identify, he can identify genetics from looking. Isn't that what he's oh, saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, genetics? definitely. No, 100%. Wait, it's wait, wait. Just, wait. It's, just it's, a quick uh, pause, all jokes aside. You guys can do this too, right? You look at these women, like some women, I, you say, "Oh, she's thick and she's hot, and that's awesome." But you know damn well, thick and hot today is like double I, thick tomorrow. I, and not I know what, what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I think for me, the one thing is that I can find somewhat similar is, is that you I could sometimes, women. I could, yeah, that too, <laughs> is I could see someone, a guy or a girl or whatever, at a certain like just certain people I look at, and I'm like. I know what you'll look like at 52. Really? I know what you'll look like when you're 52. I've seen a version of you before at that age, and I can already tell what you looked like and what you look like now and what you'll look like in a couple. I know what you look like at 52 years old. How I gray see. is my beard going to be in five and a half years? You're just not one of those people. I can't do that with you. 
Yeah. Wow, you just did to me what I did to the audience. No, but I can't <laughs> yeah. do it with everyone. I just said sometimes, and I, well, it wasn't my superpower. I wasn't like, you know what I could do with every single girl that I see? No, it's just like sometimes I look at someone, I'm like, I know what you look like when you're 52. And right. I feel like that's what you feel like when you look and you're like, you'll be fat. Yeah, yeah you'll be fat. that's interesting because that is a, a parallel power. Now, do they have to be, how old do they have to be before you can do this? Right, like, could you do it to a seven could year be old? Eight years, yeah, it could be eight years old, or she could be like twenty years old. It doesn't well, matter. You said she between, is it uh, mostly between women. Between eight and twenty. Yeah, we're not going to objectify men. That's cruel. <laughs> Harley, while you were Looking gone, back. said that he can <laughs> look at a lot of people and project what they'll be like at fifty-two. That he's seen a version of them that are fifty-two years old. Yeah, sometimes I look at a person and I can see like I can see like a little gone, shit kid. Flatly refused to do this on camera. Uh, yeah, would he also definitely pussy out? And that should be the uh, number one upvoted link. Unsub. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, <laughs> the thing is, I actually like I'll see like a shit kid at the mall like crying, and I'll look, and I'll be like, I know what you look like as an adult. What, like, what gave you this power? Has wow. always been excellent. It's not a power, man. It's just a casual thing. I, I thought for it. sure when you said that you were taking like people thirty-five to forty-five and advancing them to fifty-two. I didn't know you could do it with like newborns and yeah you never see, and like, you do this by face. actually physically traveling through time seeing them looking at them and, and fucking out. them fucking their future version he does it with his own them. sperm he's like i see no but you, if you, you, you never do that you've never looked at a person's face and you're like i know what you look like as an old woman i see you i know i don't think i've ever I cognizantly like thought that process but i think you're uh, maybe i'm probably not as good at it I've like seen like I've I've like worked at like like in schools or like at summer camps. Where yeah, I've but seen, I go like, like a hundred years further past. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see like I'll see like I know what you're gonna like. I'll see like a skeleton. Yeah, I'll see like an eight year old girl, and she'll be like, "No, here's what we're gonna do because this is how I want it." And in my head, I'm like, "You little cunt! I know what type of Jewish mom you're gonna be at fifty something years old." Ooh. I already see it. I hear you. I know who you are. And you may think that you're just being bossy with your friends, but I know your future every step of the way. Is this I've vision stronger already. with Jews or is it something you could do? Definitely with stronger with Jews. Absolutely. Okay. Just because that's just the culture that that like you know I'll, I'll interact with the most. You know what I mean? That's amazing. Yeah. You know, I yeah. black people too. Not I had a lot of black friends growing up played played sports i've seen all their dads i've seen all their grandpappies you know who i feel like i can do that a little bit with italian people because i grew up in new jersey and and there were a lot of people in new jersey that like identify <laughs> as italian italian is like their culture they they say italian shit when you eat and uh it's like yeah i know what you're like as a dad I, I'm yeah. actually I'm similar that like I'm also like ethnically centered with my predictive abilities. I can predict <laughs> very well what a Chinese person will look like when they're forty years older. Very, very well, spot on. Actually, we don't like, really, really. I fucking, believe you. Are no, you saying no, Chinese, Chinese people vibe, look the you? same? You definitely don't need an impression. No, of that double one. in down. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm saying that that's how good my skill is, Woody. Because there's sure. so much diversity within that group. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's where you were headed. I know, I know, right? <laughs> uh, uh, if you add no, 40 you, years you to my like, dog, I can tell what it will look like. That's true. Yeah, probably the same dog, but with like one of those dog tumors they get when they get old. 40 years? More than that. No, four years. <laughs> oh, no, I went 40. That was like... Oh, like yeah. Joke. Yeah, it'll look like a dead dog. Yeah. <laughs> it'll look like a dog that's been dead for 37 years. <laughs> 39. Uh, I love Trailer Park Boys. Have you ever seen Letterkenny? Yeah, I've Ooh. watched Letterkenny. Kyle got us into Letterkenny. And yeah, like, should, that's a good one. It, it's, it's Kyle has right. seen every like, television it doesn't show have me. Yeah, ever. first of all, Kyle has seen every TV show and every movie and ever. He is it's a insane. great resource for referencing for that. He, has, not, he doesn't always give you good advice, but he can always give you advice on a topic about that. You're like, I want to know about, you pick some bizarre, like, totally niche like location of fucking like television he'll have, he'll have six suggestions for you it's like that. a media-based photographic memory too if i can yeah. misuse the term right he would be able to quote any movie anything he's seen to play out scenarios and talent. scenes from it yeah i was definitely i miss stuff i'm usually not watching and he's only closely. getting better in prison eight yeah, hours a day this is the problem you send a guy to prison then he comes back a super criminal but in his case it's media consumption. A super predator. <laughs> <laughs> no, but isn't it isn't it kind of funny right now 
that for the long, er, I, I don't know about Woody. Uh, I think I kind of know about Woody because we've talked about this in private enough, like just like me, Woody and Kyle. But, but it can't be like, I don't know where I we're always, going. With this. I always thought, I always thought in my head, I was like, there is 0% chance Kyle actually goes to prison. Yeah. He's not going to prison. He's a rich guy. He's going to be fine. This is going to blow over. And now we're, we're three weeks into <laughs> Kyle being in prison. He's in he's jail. In prison. Every minute we've been here, he's been in jail. <laughs> yeah, in every like minute, every second. Every, to be and fair. When we go to bed he tonight. He could have left at any point. <laughs> it's true. It's true. No he really could have. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, he's got a poster. He's got a poster hung up with a hole behind it. <laughs> and no, the guard comes prison. by every day and they're like, I hope there's not a hole behind that poster, <laughs> but I'm not going to check and breach your trust. <laughs> Dude, at, at this prison, he could literally walk <clears throat> away. I wonder if that's true. Just, well, I know no, he can. He can go. He can go. He could be yeah. like, he could be like, guys, what? I got to go to the store real quick. Just hold my spot in the cell. Okay. <laughs> How many years now has he been getting fucked over by this? Like, how long has this gone on for him? Because that's almost really, three, right? Yeah. So this I is what he's three. actually holding up against. This is: Do I just do this fucking two months, come out, do my two years of probation, and be done with this shit? Because, like, goddamn, like this has been such a clusterfuck for his life in of, terms of impact. Yeah. Of the impact on his life, I feel like the prison sentence is the smallest part. Three years of anxiety must have been brutal to go through because he had much longer term hanging over his head. Oh, yeah. Right? It would and, have been up to 30 years. For and then after the two months in minimum, pre-minimum security, whatever you call it, uh, he has two years of probation where he's walking on eggshells. And maybe for the rest of his life, or maybe we have this hope that they like legalize marijuana and retroactively take it, you know, the felony off. But mm. he's a felon. So no more yeah. voting, no more gun ownership, which was more important to him than an average person. And um, uh, by a lot. And that if he ever wanted to go back to FPS Russia, FPSS Russia stuff, he can't now. It, this has denied him for having the ability to access these firearms, right? Yeah. In, in, at least in the firearms, he, hired he could become me, a streamer or something, right? If he <laughs> hired, I can do a Russian accent as good as Kyle. If he hired me, <laughs> be a new one. He just instructed me and taught me how to shoot. Hell yeah. So, I, you know, of all the things, oh, and then the, the monetary thing, uh, his attorneys were very expensive. I think it, I'm not even going to estimate because I don't know that he's made it widely known, but it, I, it was a lot. Yeah, it, it was a lot. And, uh, you know, so, so that was a big subtraction. So the, the anxiety, the probation, the, the financial cost, the post probation penalties, the two months is yeah but if you want to know why he's not walking out of there it's exactly that yeah because the fucking repercussions of dealing with that shit again so far outweigh the cost of being bored eight hours a day or 24 hours a day for two months i watch these prison youtube channels and uh i dude i get so into them it's ridiculous i, I know a lot about prison culture if any of you guys need a consultant if your buddy's yeah, getting his trial if his buddies are getting his cheeks spread and you need to get a wig split or run something up on in him i'm your guy I know it all. Oh shit! <laughs> so I'll better have gone to prison with a face tattoo. Giving him the, but, the ones uh, and twos. These are, I told him to join the Aryan Brotherhood immediately. These are levels. He was like, "Bro, I'm already in it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on PKA is an honorary member." <laughs> he didn't know, but you got in. It was all accident. But these are level three and four prisons. They're they're bigger deals. And uh, so the guy, he's out. His buddy got caught with uh, marijuana in the um, ashtray of his car, and he's back in for five years. Because Jesus. when you're a repeat violator, they don't fuck Whoa. around. And that's like another thing Kyle has hanging over him. So, yeah, yeah. So, the, the, I the mean, term, eventually the they're going to legalize. What, what, this is really just a lot of pressure. Yes, on that fucking pot barony, you're going to cook him. It's got to be really good. Yeah, to it needs justify. to be worth it, Harley. That's right. Harley. Okay. <laughs> it's got to be a not fucking around pot brownie. I don't know. Mm, like an epic chill. pot brownie. Let's, Let's right. fucking do it. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, there's a I lot mean, of you, you can do that in Canada. You got Canada's so silly. THC is legal and CBD isn't. Really? That is yeah. backwards. Yeah. yeah we, like, we, we, like, that? We, we like to mess around a little bit in our country. I love Canada. Sorry. So anyway, so I mean, it's to a derail, top just two like... country. A top <laughs> two country. <laughs> yeah, top two. Wow. In, if I couldn't live in the U.S., I would want to live in Canada. If I were England, my feelings would be hurt. 
but I don't know where I'd want to live. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, live they in thought Toronto. they were the cat's pajamas. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. The bees fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be the bees knees or the cat's pajamas? Oh, probably, probably the cat's pajamas. It's more syllables and it's funnier. Yeah, cat's yeah. pajamas. Fuck the bees knees. It's hard to know. make a decision. I'm a big bees knees fan. My it? father used to say that. <laughs> my father used to say he did. when he was at the doo wop and going down <laughs> so the jerk he was <laughs> like what are you? i want me to pick you up a licorice whip <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he would tell me i was the bee's knees as a child Dude, if you ever want to you're like you're like, like what are you? you're the bee's knees and he'd be like that fucking kid is not the bee's knees he's the cat's pajamas he's the cat's pajamas all right honey just pajamas. between you and i he's not bee's knees at all he's not the bee's knees <laughs> that kid that's cat's pajamas make sure your dad is like like a northeastern like italian guy like nah he's not the cat's pajamas so to speak but don't ruin his spirit there's still chance for it he's kind of talking with his hands all loud uh. yeah. Thank you.